Hi guys, my name is Gwena James Cole and welcome to a walkthrough of the two and a half Sims quest in Sims Free Play. This quest becomes available straight after the Love is in the Air quest. It's available from level 8 and there is, it's a time limited quest. So let's take a little look. You'll get this pop up once it's become available to you. Complete this quest and unleash an all new generation of bubble burping, nappy wearing infants. This is the start of something big. So we have two days for this quest. If you complete this quest, then you will get access to babies. But if you complete it within the two day time limit, you will get a baby decoration pack. So you've got baby, baby room wallpapers, carpets, and a mobile in the home store. So that is your prize that you are gonna get for completing this within the two days. So the first thing you need to do is to be nice to a sim. One of your newlyweds is thinking about bringing a new sim into the world. This is serious stuff. Get your married sims to be nice to one another so they can discuss having a baby. So our married sims is Arya and Ezra. Be nice for one minute. We go task complete be nice to a sim the next thing that we need to do is to expand or create a room your sims have decided to have a baby together this is great news hmm they're going to need more space in their house expand or create a room so if you're sure on money which at this stage of the game probably will be i would suggest just expanding a room if you've got enough money then yeah go ahead and create a new one but it's the cheapest the cheapest thing to do is probably just to expand this room out that only costs 42 simoleons so we go, expand or create a room. Of course you can create one if you would like to. The next thing, spend 450 simoleons on wallpaper and flooring. Spruce it up for the baby with some new wallpaper and floors. Pick something colorful, spend 450 on wallpaper and floors. So again, if you've created a room, you can create a nice little nursery here, but I'm trying to do it kind of as cheaply as possible. So I only want to spend 450. I don't want to have to spend any more particularly. So let's go into the floors and wallpapers. Maybe we'll change. If we change that wall to red, that costs 264. And then maybe change the carpet to. That's an awful colour. <laughs> maybe we change it to here. So that's 320. So that will that will work. Or maybe we change the bathroom. It doesn't really matter. You can do anything. I'm just going to change that like that. That will be enough money. There we go. Spend 450 on wallpaper and flooring. Now we need to read Better Farms and Cradles magazine. So how much do your sims really know about being parents? Have a sim read the Better Farms and Cradles magazine to brush up on their knowledge. Note, to read a magazine you must first buy a stack of magazines from the living room section of the home store. So I haven't got any magazines. So let's go ahead and buy them. I'm just going to move this toaster over here because we can't fit the magazines anywhere else so furniture in the living room section stack of magazines is 600 simoleons place them on a table and then better farms and cradles is nine minutes so we have read the better farms and cradles magazine next we need to have a double shot of coffee better get back to baby planning wake up with a double shot of coffee so let's click on our coffee machine. Double shot is one minute. Now this is only a one star coffee machine. I'm not sure whether we can get better, but at the moment I'm just gonna go with that. It's double shot for one minute with our one star coffee machine. And there we go, we have had a double shot of coffee. The next thing that we need to do is to watch Dr. Cox on TV. There's a new show on TV called Dr. Cox that describes the complex politics that goes on between babies and parents. Have a sim watch it on TV. So click on your TV and watch Dr. Cops is 18 minutes. She's finished watching Dr. Cops on TV. The next thing we need to do is to build the children's store. Hooray, your sims are now ready to have a baby. Hang on, where are you going to put your baby? You need a crib. Build the children's store on the town map. So head out onto your town map. So out onto your town map, the children's store, here's the park. The children's store is just directly down from the park. It is flashing. This is what it looks like. Go ahead and click on it. That's going to take one hour and 15 minutes to build the children's store. It's going to cost a thousand simoleons. You need four sims to build it. Ah, so we haven't got four sims. So we need to go and add another sim to the town. So before we can build the children's store, we're going to have to build another house. We will build the furnished townhouse, I think. That takes 30 minutes. So once we've built the furnished townhouse, 
click on that yep we'll do that once that's done we'll go ahead and we'll build the children's store for one hour and 50 everything that you build on the town map can change prices depending upon your game depending upon how many different houses and how many different lots you've already got in your building so for example if you've already built say you've got the park the fire station and you've also built the promotion dot us store then your next store your next community lot that you build is going to be more expensive just they continue to go up and up in price so this is how much it costs for me and how long it takes for me and everything but it will be different if you have done if you have built different things in your town well, my children's store is now complete you get this pop-up when it is complete so check out the great items they have for sale to complete the task you have to go out onto the town map and then head over to the children's store and you see there it is flashing so just go ahead and click on it and then that's task complete build the children's store the next thing that we need to do is to buy a crib look at that impressive range of fancy cribs head down to the children's store on the town map and purchase one of their cribs so let's so to go into the children's store just click on it and then as you can see we've got all these new items now that we can now purchase so we need to buy a crib there's various different cribs that we can buy we are just going to go for the white crib for 2000 simoleons the rest are for lps so we will buy that and it will go into your cart down there and then click on the buy do you want to purchase yes we do task complete buy a crib congratulations on your purchase your new items have been added to the home store inventory the next thing we need to do, and the last thing actually, is to add a baby. It's time to bring your first baby into the world. To add a baby, place a crib in a married couple's home and then tap the add sim button above the crib. The store will take care of the rest. Note, your new crib can be found in the inventory accessed via the home store. So let's go into Arya and Ezra's house. Unfortunately, they're gonna have a baby pretty soon after moving in, but you go into your home store and then into your inventory and then we have our white crib here so let's place it down remember to make sure the little arrow is pointing outwards so a sim can get to the crib once it's down you get this add sim bubble above the crib you can go ahead and click on that and we'll add a baby this first baby is free but it will cost money after this first one to bring a new sim into the world but this takes a whole day to add your baby so let's go ahead and add and now we have to wait 24 hours for the baby to arrive. So after 24 hours, your baby will be ready to add and the little bubble above the crib will have changed to green. So you go ahead and click on that and then you can add in your new baby. Just like with normal creator sim, you just make a new little baby. Should we go with boy or girl? Let's go boy. I mean, we'll just stick with Michael. It's, it's come up saying Michael Montgomery. So we'll go with Michael Montgomery. And maybe we should just keep it exactly how it is. Let me just see what clothes they have. Oh my goodness, hardly anything. Okay, I'm just going to have to change these eyes because he's got demon black eyes at the moment. Not into that. So there we go, so there's our baby. So you can just design your baby however you like and then click the tick to add to the town. It's quest complete. You completed the two and a half Sims quest. Thanks to you, all married couples are now able to have their own babies. Simply buy a crib add a baby and voila so we'll check out the prizes in a second and also congratulations new items may now be purchased from the infant section of the home store with the baby decoration pack you can now deck out your baby room with the all new wallpapers floors and special baby mobile to hang on the ceiling so that is our limited time prize the baby pack the next quest that becomes available to us is the Ocean View Estate quest. That is available from level 9. We're currently on level 8, so I'll continue working through the game to get up to level 9, and then we will complete the Ocean View Estate. But let's go ahead and check out the prizes that we won from this quest. So you can either go out to the children's store on the town map, but I just find it easier just to use the normal home store that we have. Go into the furniture, and of course now we have got this infant section here. We have now got the cribs that are available to us. There are five different cribs that we can get and also a few little nursery items and also the mobile that was a limited time prize. If we go into the house section, into the floors, we have got some new flooring, the hot pink carpet, the blue star carpet that we can now use in baby's rooms or any room. And then into the wallpapers, we have got the misty forest, the space rockets and the horse brown 
wallpapers there. So there you go guys, that completes the two and a half Sims quest. Here's our new little baby, Michael Montgomery. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about the quest, do leave them down below in the comments. I will try my best to help you out. I will link below the blog post that corresponds to this quest as well. But thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.